Paging Aitken Robertson to courtroom number two. The jury is back with a verdict. Members of the jury, how do you find the accused? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty on all accounts, your honor. Welcome to Legally Speaking, your trusted source for navigating the intricacies of law, proudly brought to you by the Aitken Robertson Criminal Law Group. I'm Melanie, I'm your host, and today we are tackling a common concern. I've got a traffic ticket, now what? So joining me today is licensed paralegal Bailey Hallett, one of our licensed paralegals at Aitken Robertson, and together we will be unpacking the steps you need to take when facing a traffic ticket, from understanding your options to crafting a defense. So whether you're a seasoned driver or a newcomer to the road, this discussion promises to shed some light on what to do next when those flashing lights appear in your rear view mirror. So buckle up. Stay tuned for valuable insights on navigating traffic violations with confidence. What are the first steps that someone should take after they received a traffic ticket? Yeah, so once you've initially received a traffic ticket, um, you have a short time period where you must decide um, what you want to do, whether it's plead guilty, fight the ticket. So the first thing um, I'd recommend is reaching out to a licensed paralegal or a lawyer um, as soon as possible. Many firms, including ours, do um, a free consultation. So that's the first step I would recommend. Um, from there, then you have to decide if you want to hire legal representation, if you want to handle the traffic ticket yourself, um, if you want to fight it, if you just want to pay the fine. Um, but yeah, the first step I'd recommend is speaking um, to a legal professional and um, getting any advice you can. Are there potential consequences for ignoring or failing to address the traffic ticket in time? Yeah, so if you fail to respond within the time period, um, you'll be deemed uh, to not wish to dispute the ticket, and um, a conviction will then be entered against you, and you'll be required to pay the fine. Um, if you don't pay the fine, you'll be subject to further consequences, um, could affect your credit, could affect you renewing your permit, your license, um, anything like that if you just fail to respond to the ticket. So how long does a person have to respond to the ticket? 15 day time period. Um, so you need to act quickly once you get the ticket. Can you maybe give us an idea of what the process is for contesting a traffic ticket? So once you've received a ticket, you essentially have three options. Um, on the ticket you receive, the front portion will have all the information about the offense, your information. Um, the back will outline the options available to you. Uh, so the first option is you just pay the ticket. Um, we advise against this option as it means you're admitting guilt. Um, you face the consequences of that, such as increased insurance premiums, um, applicable demerit points, um, anything like that. And the second option is to request a resolution meeting with the prosecutor. Um, so this will allow you the opportunity to meet with the prosecutor um, to discuss possible resolutions of the charge, um, basically trying to resolve it before um, going to trial. And however, if no resolution is reached, a trial can still be scheduled if you choose that option. And then the third option is to request a trial right away. Um, if this option is chosen, you still have to have a resolution meeting with the prosecutor. Um, but essentially, those are the three options you have once you receive a ticket. So what factors should someone consider when they are deciding whether to fight the ticket or just simply pay the fine? Yeah, so when you're deciding um, if you should fight it or just pay it as soon as you get the ticket, 
Um, the you should consider kind of the following consequences um, of if you decide to plead guilty. Um, so any associated demerit points, the fine of the ticket itself, um, increases in insurance premiums, possible license suspensions, vehicle impairment, um, and then for some offenses, there could be the potential of imprisonment or civil liability as well. And then what advice do you have for individuals who have received a traffic ticket and are unsure about how to proceed? Yeah, so like I said earlier, I'd recommend reaching out to a licensed paralegal or a lawyer right away. Um, they can answer any questions you may have, um, tell you about the process, um, provide advice to you as well. And once we're hired, you can leave the ticket with us and we essentially handle everything from there. Um, we'd file the ticket for you, meet with the prosecutor, um, appear for most, if not all, of your court appearances. Um, so that's what I'd recommend. And then it depends on how you would like to proceed as well. Thank you so much. That was such an informative uh, in discussion with you today, Bill. Um And thank you, everyone else, for joining us for the Aitken Robertson YouTube channel relaunch. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Until next time, stay informed, stay engaged, take care. Thank you for tuning in to Legally Speaking, proudly brought to you by Aitken Robertson Criminal Defence. We represent clients facing criminal charges all over Ontario, providing you with legal support and dedicated advocacy. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more content, please like and subscribe to our channel. For more information, visit our website. We also offer free books on various types of criminal charges, which you can request on our website or by using the QR codes on your screen now. For legal assistance, call us today or visit our website to request a meeting with one of our experienced lawyers or licensed paralegals. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time on Legally Speaking.